Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I am doing an acrylic pour on a base with a canvas underneath. And for this project, I'm using all warm colors, which is a little bit unusual for me. But I am using some white, primary yellow, some gold, primary red, inferno orange, a little bit of copper, and then a little bit of Merlot as well. And I'm just putting very little bits in the cup to start with because whatever you put in the cup first, that's what's going to end up on your vase. So you don't want to put a ton of white or a ton of any one specific color unless you really want that color prominent on your vase. So to start off with the cup, I use just very little amounts of each color. And then I'll go a little bit heavier on my pores uh, because the rest is just going to end up on the canvas and it's going to look awesome either way. Now I am using a 10 by 20 inch canvas. So I'm using enough paint to cover that canvas and the vase. You don't really need to factor in the vase because it takes so little of your paint. So I'm really just going to be using enough to cover that canvas. And for this canvas size, I use around 12 ounces of paint. Now I like to pour this in a tree ring method, but you can really use any method that you want. I've even done a flip cup. You could pour through a strainer. You could use a hair dryer. I've done a lot of different uh, pouring methods with on a vase, but my favorite is the tree ring. It gives a beautiful marbled look. Now I did add a little bit more paint to my cup so that I could uh, change up the colors a little bit on the vase and also make sure I had enough paint, but mainly because I wanted a couple more colors more prominent on the vase than they were. So definitely don't feel like your final design you have to end with. You can always add a little bit more paint. And then I like to let it drip down the vase for typically about five minutes or so. It's not going to dry, so don't worry about it. Just let it drip. Now for this, I was pretty sure I didn't have quite enough paint, so I wanted to add a little bit more paint on the sides, especially because it's a long canvas, and obviously when I'm pouring it comes out in more of a, more of a circle. So this paint on the sides will help me to make sure that I'm able to easily cover the canvas. And for this, I used just a little bit of the Merlot paint and make, made sure to get it all the way up to the paint that was dripping off of the vase. And then mostly to the edge, I wasn't worried about full coverage because it's really just to help the rest of that paint move. And then I gently lifted it up by the cup that the vase is sitting on and moved that off to the side. Now, I like to let that center fill in before I tilt it. And that's because the dry spot of canvas in the middle there will affect the design. So I let it fill in and then I start to tilt. And I had to be extra careful with this one due to the fact that it was a very long rectangular canvas. So I tilted basically side to side mostly before running any of that paint off. And that way I was able to get full coverage and go pretty slow. You wanna maintain your design as much as possible. The great thing about pouring over a vase is it always gives you this gorgeous feathered look. And it, when you use warm colors, it can look kind of like a phoenix rising from the ashes. It's just, can give you a really beautiful design. So tilt slowly to maintain as much of that design as possible. And here's how it looks. It's just gorgeous. After you're done tilting, make sure that you fix up any corners and sides and then tilt any more as you wish. <laughs> I then let everything dry and here's how they look completely dry. Just really, really pretty. I am so in love with both of these pieces. Now the canvas, you can seal however you want. I typically seal mine with Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray, but you can use any kind of varnish. The vases, however, I always seal with resin. When you seal them with resin, it makes it so you can wash them. You can use it as a regular vase. They're waterproof and it's just awesome. So here's how the vase looks dry before the resin. And after the resin, it will be a lot more shiny. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.